Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video here on the Jurassic Park Podcast YouTube channel. I am Brad Jost, the host of the podcast, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Minmi, one of the newest figures from the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy line from Mattel. This thing should be part of Wave 3, and as I said with the Proceratosaurus, the waves have been kind of all over the place recently, tough to find, kind of mixed in with Wave 2, so who knows what's going on at the moment. But we do have another item here from Wave 3, the Minmi. This is fantastic! I don't have a lot of herbivores here, but this is, uh, I guess, another one in the list, along with my Stegosaurus back there. This thing resembles the Ankylosaurus in a way, so... I like that attribute to it. I think the, uh, you know, all the stuff on, on the back and the, uh, the bones and all that stuff sticking out look really cool. Look, I don't know what I'm talking about half the time with dinosaurs. This thing looks awesome. Let's take a closer look. So, as usual, we got the Chris Pratt and Owen. Oh, Chris Pratt and Owen? No, just we have Owen and Blue. And uh, this thing's posable, the Minmi, the Jurassic World logo, the volcano going off, and the new logo up in the top. So on the back, as well as the uh, other item that we looked at recently, you have the Minmi on the back, as well as the Proceratosaurus, the Protoceratops, which is a very cool looking figure. This also has the Jurassic Facts app on there, so make sure to check that out. Not much else here on the box, so why don't we get into it? And this thing's fantastic. Look at it. It's awesome. Wonderful paint job on here. I'm a huge fan of this green color. I think it looks fantastic. And you have the lighter color on the ridges popping out of the back here. And then that eye line is so cool. That is so fantastic. You have the yellow eye with the black in the middle with the brown around the eye, which looks so good. It looks really good and it goes, it kind of like bleeds down towards the neckline, which is really cool, really interesting. And it does the same thing on this side as well. So with this figure more than some of the others, I'm actually noticing like this ridge line here. You can actually see a seam cutting through the edge and around the top over here and then back on this side as well. Um, it doesn't bother me really. It just, uh, I just noticed it uh, more than some of the others with the seams, but I think it looks fantastic. I love the paint job, like I said, and I like uh, the articulation here. So you have the legs moving. That's about it. They just go kind of uh, back and forward. They don't uh, X out like some of the other ones. The legs move here, but the nice detail is the head also moves as well. It's very, very small. It doesn't really move too, too much. Sideways it does, but uh, I don't know if you want that happening. Um, the tail doesn't really do too much aside from swivel like that, but I do like it. It's, it's nice and simple. I don't need anything too crazy with my dinosaurs. I feel like some of the ones with the X axis here sometimes get maybe a little bit too loose. So I like it being simplified like this. And this thing is so compact. It's like, it's like handheld. It's like so tiny um, of a figure. I like that because we don't have a lot of like tiny, tiny figures like this that are in the toy line along with the rest of them. I mean, look, it's small compared to that. It, it's like, it's good. I, I think it's good. I'm not complaining by any means. And like this guy is like one of the smaller figures as well. And it kind of is smaller than that. So that's great. I think it's good to have different scope of items here. We're not all dealing with the same size, like some of the old toy lines, maybe Jurassic World. Um, but this thing's cool. The mouth doesn't articulate, which is, I don't know if it's disappointing or not, but it just, it just doesn't. So that's what we got to deal with. But this is a very cool looking dinosaur. Take a closer up look. Look at that thing. It looks so good. All the detail. There's so much detail on these dinosaurs. And these on the top here and the sides are all rubbery. So they're a little bit softer. They're not going to hurt anybody. These are not. Uh, sort of, but not as much. Uh, they're a little bit sharper and uh, harder there. So be careful if you have little ones. But uh, yeah, these are a little bit harder as well. But these are soft, so you won't really hurt yourself or anything like that. That's pretty good. This thing's great. I want to compare it though to an item from Jurassic World. So if you follow the Hasbro toy line, you have the Ankylosaurus here, which is a tad bit bigger, but you know, a similar type dinosaur. It looks like it's in the same species. I don't know a lot about it, like I said, but it's similar, right? It's uh, This one's definitely bigger. Not as nicely made as this. This is so much better. Even just the smaller scope and the, the rubbery feel. 
This thing is hard and hurt. Ow, God, that hurts. Um, and it's like a, a very light plastic and flimsy. It's just, I mean, it's not bad looking on a shelf. It looks fine, but it just, and of course the screw holes, nothing that we have to deal with on these newer items really. So that's that thing. And there you can see how it compares a little bit here um, to the size. So it's definitely a little bit smaller there, which is cool. I think it's great. I think it's like a, a baby almost compared to some of the other dinosaurs. But um, there you go. Now we can also compare it with a human here. So, you know, it's not too much smaller than the human. The humans are not very big in general. So, you know, it, it kind of has that going for it. But I like this. It's kind of like you could have this as like a pet for one of these guys. I like that idea. So that is the Minmi. It's a very interesting creature. I love it so much. And obviously I cannot get this guy to stand in the background. There he is. So. This thing is fantastic. What do you guys think? Do you like the Minmi? Are you gonna get it? Are you picking this one up in the stores from wave three? So what do you think? Do you, do you like the Minmi? Are you a fan? Do you like this little interesting dinosaur? I love it. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I really wanna hear what your interpretations are of this little dinosaur. Let me know. And also go to JurassicParkPodcast.com find all of our information there. Make sure to check out the podcast on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, all those places. Leave a review. Let us know what you think. Also go to Twitter at Jurassic Park Pod. Follow us on there. Jurassic Park Podcast on Instagram and Facebook. Here on YouTube, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, hit that notification bell to find all of our videos as they're uploaded. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.